Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, uh, Boo Boy Kennels. Uh, this vid here is just for those people that that um, are not very familiar with uh, using Transmit for their uh, FTP program. Now, um, as I said, Transmit is um, it's used for transferring files from you know one server to another, or from your server to your local machine, or Pretty much however you want to use it. Um, so what I wanted to show you was as far as on transmit. So a few things you want to keep in mind, and and the reason I bring this up is because uh, with running different different servers or or accounts that are hosted on servers, I should say, and having forums, um, there's times where you need to up, update your scripts and you know so on and so on and actually I ended up learning this the hard way because most of my uh, usage of, of FTP programs was all Windows based so not, I used uh, Qt FTP Pro um, for, for Windows um, they do got a Mac version which is, is pretty nice it's a little more expensive than the uh, Panic, but all in all, it's it's still a very good price. I believe it's uh, just just under forty bucks if you want to take a look at that. But this is more for those that are using uh, Transmit. Now, uh, what I want to show you is that on this particular folder, which I have on my server, has three files in it picture one picture two and the index file that's what's currently on there now what I want to do is I have a duplicate of that folder which is basically my update now this update has the same index file which I do want to update it even though it's the same file but for demonstration purposes I'm using it as an updated file for uh, a, a forum package along with a new item that I'll be adding in to my folder now what you want to do is you know, once you have your uh, FTP set up for your particular server site log in you know, to your uh, server location and as you can see here is my folder which is what was currently on my desktop or my local machine which has the index file and the two picture files now what I want to do is I want to update this folder without deleting anything inside of it and the way to do so is when you control click on the file you want to upload you'll go ahead and click upload and it'll ask you a few little questions you know folder name delete already exists what do you want to do well you don't want to replace it and I'll, I'll show you why in a moment but what you want to do is you want to merge it and the reason you want to merge it is because you want to keep the existing files that have nothing to do with your current upload intact without removing them. So you're going to click merge. Now it says a file named index already exists. Well, like I said, I want to update it because, as I said, for demonstration purposes, it's, it's like a forum. You know, like um, I have vBulletin that I use for one site, I have Envision PowerBoard that I use for another site. Now they don't always update each individual file, but you still want to update them anyways. So now at this point, I do want to replace the file. So I'm just going to go ahead and click apply to all and we're going to go ahead and update those. So now they're already done. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the folder that I just updated. And as you can see, the new additional file is here, and the other file has been updated as well. 
and the files that were not being updated are still here. So that's great. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect off my server. Basically, it's kind of like, you know, refreshing the system. Now, I'm going to log back into my server. I'm going to go back to that test folder that I was in. And right back into the folder I just updated. So you see all my files are still here. So that's great. That way, I only updated what needed to be updated and kept what was still there. Now, here's the part, and this is very, very uh, critical, especially if you have a forum. So I can't stress this enough. Again, this is the folder that I want to update that only has the two files. And the reason I bring this up is because if you update this the wrong way, you're going to lose everything that's in that folder or any folders thereof. So you're still going to upload. And let's say, even if that's not applied, it says that the folder already exists. Okay, well, you know, I know it exists because I want to update it. Now, the first thing that's highlighted is, is the name replace. So, all right, we know we're going to replace it. So, you click on replace. It's going to update your folder. Now, the problem with that is, and like I said, it, it got me good, but luckily I, I kept a backup of everything. I'm thinking, all right, you know, my window, my whole window mentality is saying, all right, you know, they, they replaced it, it's updated, blah, blah, blah. My files are still there. So I'm not thinking nothing of it until I log back into the site and I noticed, you know, avatars were missing, uh, certain attachments were gone. And, and it's just because I read it, but I didn't pay attention to it, which, you know, is shame on me. So by replacing the folder, now it, it replaced everything like everything is gone the only files that are that have been updated were the two that match what's in here rather than keeping everything else so that is why you want to use merge when you have multiple files that need to remain on your server without deleting them. If not, you're going to face this and everything is gone. So you don't want to lose everything. You just want to try to keep it. So I just go back to my desktop. I know these are the folders that should be in there along with the current one that was updated. So I just go back. I upload it. I'll click merge rather than replace because I don't want to replace my system files and now they're all back but again keep that in mind for whenever you're updating files on your server and you use uh, transmit as your program other than that this was bull boy kennels thank you for watching